I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Eternal Throne, Episode 7. We'll be doing Chapter 7 momentarily, but first, I just want to go over a few things. First of all, combat proficiencies. What one should we go for? Um, b -b 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 How do you gain Charlie? Yeah, I don't know what that ability is. Um, I don't know what to go for. Eh, let's go for that one. I have no idea. I'm going for it. Say. <laughs> See how careless I am? Secondly, a lot of you have been asking, what is my armor? I should have told you all the way back in episode one. I showed you my armor, but I never told you exactly what it was. So, if you want to wear this exact armor, you will need the Fervent Battle headgear, which you could... It doesn't even have to be that. I think there are a few that are exactly like the headgear I'm wearing. It just... Just, uh, it's titled differently. Then we have the main, which is Tund Sorcerer Upper Robe, uh, Zakulin Inquisitor's Gloves, Johani's Belt, I know, right? Uh, Remnant Yavin Knight's Greaves, Zakul Knight Captain's Boots, and Tund Sorcerer's Braces. Because I managed to get the full set for 2 million credits. I thought, yeah, what the hell, why not? And some of you have even asked what my armor was beforehand. Uh, I can tell you it is the Feather and Battle here. Battle headgear again. Uh, Sith Recluse Breastplate. Uh, Ravager's Gauntlets. Ravager's Belts. Remnant Dreadguard Inquisitor's Lower Robe. And Fortified Defender's Boots and Braces. Oraconian Pummeler's MK1 Arm Guards. But there wasn't really anything for braces because you can't see them. You just can't see them. But anyway, let me go back to my uh, active one. So yes... Those were my sets, so you go ahead and you go look like Kranatoku. That'd be so cool. So you know, go go on Twitter. Send me send me pictures of your character looking like Kranatoku or wearing the same armor Kranatoku's wearing in the same color as well. I'd love to see that. You don't get a prize, but I'd really appreciate that just to know that you've gone to all that effort. And finally, before we start the chapter, I am now level seventy, as you saw in the last episode, which means I can now do Galactic Command. So, I can do uprisings, uh, I can do all of the stuff which I was always, always able to do, but I can also do uprisings, which we would do after I've done chapter 9. So, I'll do every single uprising, um, uh, but oh, the bonus is today, is the uprising is the bonus today. Uh, now, for everything I do as well, I will also uh, gain command experience, which will get me crates, which will also get me loot, uh, but I need to get my first great to show you that. Anyway, let's actually start the chapter. Chapter 7, Into the Void. You should have left me, Anathema. must be a flashback or something. You are my daughter. This is where you belong. what they did to me there you needed discipline you had to learn to control your power yeah but she was a cool girl from the trailer oh that's a weird that's a weird <laughs> smile the bond between us is growing stronger you are glimpsing my memories. Valin mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind and teach her obedience. No wonder your daughter hates you and everyone else. She learned to hate 
long before I sent her away. Unchecked, Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. You were scared of her. I respected her power, as should you. Do you not wonder why these memories are resurfacing now? Ah, uh, I figured you were trying to manipulate me somehow. This was a warning. She wants to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Stopped you, didn't I? In a in a way. And again, I feel like you let me. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galactic Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? That is not my sister's style. I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. I never thought to hear the name of that accursed world again. You've been there? Once. And through Valkorion locked my sister away when she was a child. It's in the Corlean sector. Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We traced the origin to that sector. Valen has to know we're looking for her. Could she be luring us there for an ambush? Valen hated it there. She wouldn't return merely to set a trap. Nathema is a tainted world. If I go there, I fall back into my old ways. Aww. Maybe you could come along. Everything I have accomplished since being healed on Voss will be undone. Stay here and watch over Senya. Lana, Theron, you're with me. On it, Commander. I'll prep the shuttle. Meet me there when you're ready. I don't check the other two choices. I just went for the first one I looked at. Maybe he could have come along, but hey. Uh. Already there's weird noises. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. He just said he felt it. Ugh. The Emperor corrupted the Force on Xyost and drove everyone mad with bloodlust. But here, I barely sense the Force at all. The effects will be stronger on the surface. The absence of the Force could drive us mad. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the Void. Taking us down. Hurry. You're hastening there. Greetings, Empress. It has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? Wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need me. Codex entry, nothing. Planet zero out of zero. Right. Pretty sure it's 26 out of seven. Wait, what's the planet I'm missing? Is there another planet we're going to be encountering that you haven't told me about? Or is it from... Uh, uh, I don't know. From Flashpoint I haven't done maybe or something? I don't know. Ah, I can use my mount here. Sweet. Got this world. Look at it. It is so barren. But it looks so beautiful as well. So weird. 
Wait, what's that? I see some sort of light up there. Is there any way I can get over to it? Do I need to go over there? Oh, I need to go over there anyway. Okay. <laughs> Just follow the path, Charlie. And you'll get there. Be patient. I've got mail to check as well. Should I check my mail on the thema? Yeah. Sounds like a perfect plan. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Welcome back. Thanks, Asina. I'll read that another time. Good riddance. Dr. Ogrob. Ego. Clemency for Arkham from Asina again. Indozao. And Lana Benico. Oh, I should probably go all the way down for you to read. Cool. If you want to read those, you go ahead. Just pause the video. I'll wear my jetpack this time. Oh. So, from a distance, you actually look like a frog. Can, you, can anyone else see it? It just looks like a frog. Um, is there anything in here? I feel like there might be. Why do you look like a creature? Oh my god, you're a creature. Oh. You're creatures, you're not rocks. Okay, the blasted basement. That blasted basement. Well, there might have been something of significance here, but there really wasn't. Well... That was pointless. I'm surprised we haven't been attacked yet. I mean, I'm glad. It's a nice break, but... Hmm. Oh, the basement would have took me here. Oh, I just went the wrong way. Is there anything in here? Um, no. I'm just wondering if there's any secrets that I want to find. Not that I can see, though. This planet really is just true to his word. It is just a dead planet. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I thought, ooh, maybe there'll be some enemies I need to fight. Ooh, maybe there'll be some secrets. It's just a dead planet. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to have to fight. Ooh, there we go. And I've already started to rank up. How many more? Oh, wow. So my first kill gets me uh, to rank two. and So it's like one point to get to level two. And then it suddenly increases to 610. Fair enough. Oh, there's more. Hello. Where'd you come from? I want to open my pack. Okay, right. Let's go into my galactic command. Shall we see what I get in my command crate? Tier 1. Hopefully something good. Uh, pack of points to consume. Yes, never show this again. We get scrap uh, schematic for artifice 800. Oh, 600. Sorry, my eyes are going blue. It looked like 800. I'm like, what? They've been increased to 800? But no, 600. Uh, this, which is better. I am claiming that. Uh, and Underworld Enforcer's Headgear. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't think any of my characters will have that. So, disintegrate, please. Thank you. I want, I want the scrap. Uh, and schematic, I want schematic. Because I am... An artifice on this character. I believe I am anyway. Let me just double check. Uh, crew skills. Where's my crew skills gone? Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm an artifice. But for some reason, my crew skills have disappeared. Maybe it's because it doesn't want me to do my crew skills right now on Nathema. But. You can at least just grey them out, not completely make them disappear. Defeat Horizon Captain. Will do. I love how the door closed and then suddenly opened again. Fair enough. And... Die on Nathema. It's worse here. The void. It's hunger. It wants to devour me. Mind and spirit. Annihilate every trace of my existence. That's not going to happen. Valkorion said he can protect us. For once, I hope he's right. Keeping the void at bay requires nearly all my strength. But it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. Oh, there's still some life then. In theory. Huh? 
啊。<laughs> you can't use your force. such a weapon as a child. <laughs> I fear none of my pets would have survived. Why did your beast attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorian. Valkorian? You told me you'd made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. So you're ready to die then? Oh, I'm losing my voice. I'll say that again. You're ready to die then? Because I'm not. You know, in a way, I am glad that we now have this command experience system in. Because I do miss levelling up. You know, I'm already level 70 and I'm just like, oh, I don't get to level up any levels anymore. But I get to level up command levels now. Hooray! Just wish it was a... Legacy wide! Boo! Find a way to open the door. Which door? Oh! I like Sky Trooper Gunner. Right, which one shall we use? Uh, oh, there's a hollow journal. Oh, sweet! Bonus Valkorian mission! Valkorian has given me free reign over his child. Death is the only line I am forbidden to cross. Fortunately, he has provided numerous subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. F oh. I thought when you, when you said first, you were going to tell me who. Oh, okay. Fine. Before I leave this area, though, are there, like, any more hollow terminals in this area? Just check. Nope, that's all. Oh, hello, patrolling Sky Trooper. I do like that they now patrol. That's kind of nice. As annoying as it is having to kill all these sky troopers, it's just Bioware have done well with the little tiny touches. They're doing very well in that sense. Oh. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Valen, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. With all the experiments they did on her, I'm surprised she would ever set foot on Nathema again. I imagine she would do anything to break free from Valkorian's mental conditioning. Okay, we had to stop by for that. Alright, fair enough. I feel like I could just jump through this, but there is actually a window there. Oh, let me through! And down we go. I made Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken corpse from every failed experiment. Oh. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Oh. What? How is that meant to control her? Surely that's meant to make her go insane. I'm just keeping a lookout for any hollow journals. I don't think I can see any in here, though. There's one there. Sure. Valen killed another keeper today. 
She must learn that defiance has consequences. Isolation, fear, pain. Sometimes the simplest tools are the most effective. Very sadistic. Very, very sadistic. Oh! Are we in Aperture Science again? I mean, we got the... The room which Shell is in. Or Chow, however you say it. And like a... Portable... Port... Portalable walls. I think that's how you say it. Portalable. Yes. Ah! Lovely codex entry. Let me jump over here and we have another holo journal. Conventional methods only go so far. But the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. God, that is some way to... <sighs> Go mad, clawing your right. Oh God, it's like. Remember Game of Thrones, with um. Oh, I don't want to spoil it, but you know who, who had his eyes. Uh, yeah. Uh Another holo journal. I thought Valen would scream or cry, maybe even beg for mercy. But when the pain from the machines became too much to bear. She started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. Maybe she got too used to the pain. Can you get used to pain, though? If you have had pain your whole life, can you eventually get used to it? I don't know, because it's the same pain over and over. Just need two more journal entries. There's one on there. Where's the last one? I really do hope I haven't missed one. I would love to do this bonus mission uh, for the command points. Yes, I was about to say for the experience, but I'm already level 70. So it'll be for the command points now. I have returned to Nathema years after I once helped Valkorian tame his child. Now, Valen wants me to undo her conditioning. Failure is not an option. Well, yeah, because I'm pretty sure uh, she would kill you if it doesn't work. So you might want to make it work. Wait, have we just gone into a circle? Oh, we've just gone in a circle, haven't we? Ah, oh, where's the last one? Oh, actually, no, we Oh. I was about to click on that, but it won't let me now. Have we literally just gone in a circle, though? I feel like we have. Oh. This is a new way of freezing people. Sith. Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. Can she actually undo what you did to her? In theory, it is possible. In practice, even she may not be strong enough to survive the process. If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. No pressure. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin. That's the calmest sentence I've ever heard you say. Looks worried. I almost feel sorry for her.
Oh my god! I've been turned to dust! You have to stop her. We're running out of time. Come on. Oh, the hollow journal is still there. Hopefully, I'll be able to find it. <gasps> the last hollow journal. Sweet. So worried I wasn't going to find it. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. We we already heard that. Why'd you play again? Valen hunted Senya to the shores of Ord Mantel. She eliminated her mother's knights, but let Senya live. Is this a sign of familial love? Or a predator toying with her prey? Only time will tell. I'd probably say the second one. Toying with her prey. But we'll see in the future, won't we? I mean, Senya's still in a critical condition at the moment. Ooh, this is a very ominous forest. Defeat a twisted experiment. You mean you? Alright. Whoa, what was that? What's this, whoa, what's this green circle? Explore the sanitarium. Alrighty, will do. Keep it down, please. Oh, just got my rocket boost and straight into a gutsy. I have that statue. Hi. I am not your enemy. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. What's going on? Where were you going? Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. We can survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. You work for Valen. Why would you help us? Mutual survival. Valen's power has driven the beasts and keepers mad. Protect me from them, and I will guide you to shelter. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. I didn't even get a choice. Just doing it then. Oh, I still got my rocket boost. Fair enough. Where am I going? Around the corner. What are you, a spider? Dropping down from the ceiling? You could be. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sneak on by. Bye bye now. What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. Oh, really? I cannot protect you from what lies inside. Want to give me any heads up? Sounds like you don't want me learning your secrets. All the more reason to enter. Wow, he's so afraid of that. Senya! My daughter. What have you done? God! feel a bit frozen in fear right now. <laughs> Just a bit. 
Seek free. free. You must. You must. But for. I can't hear you. You're fading. Was that Valkorian? He tried to tell me something, but then he disappeared. Enjoy it while it lasts. I imagine he'll be back soon enough. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. Mm. I knew trusting you was a mistake. Now we're stuck inside an impregnable vault. Would you rather be ripped apart by the energy blasts outside? Besides, there is a way out. The vault has a backup generator. If you can reach it. Valkorian sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? <laughs> well, I mean... Where would be the fun in that? Okay, what are we looking at? Uh, oh, this. Have you come to torment me again? No. I sense his presence, but it is faint, distant. You are not Tenebrae. Are you talking about Valkorian? Valkorian, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Emperor of the Sith. My low-born son has worn many masks. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madryas. I never thought of Valkorian as having a father. <laughs> no. One of many Sheesh. offspring I sired. He was the least of my children. His mother, a nameless peasant. Never reading but this. he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madryas into this. You said this was once a lush and vibrant world. What happened? He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. Like Zyos. He did something similar on Zyos. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. Anything in Valkorian's past I can use to defeat him once and for all. I know Tenebrae's weakness. This holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. I've been waiting for this for a long time. What do I do? There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, Release me from my prison, keep the holocron close, and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Hmm... I mean... Lana's right. But he's right as well. <laughs> um, he's told us everything we kind of need to know, I feel. Yeah. Valkorion has many victims, but none who have suffered for as long as you. I will set you free. And so, it ends. I hope we don't regret that. You probably will. Hold on to the holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. What is going 
going on? Uh oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Spaghetti. -o. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. Uh oh, Spaghetti. -o. Oh, hello, cutie pie. Aren't you just delightful? You're one of the creatures we saw outside, I think. A Vorclaw. Is that what we're naming them? Fair enough. Wait, where's the... There's one right there, apparently. But where the heck is it? Um... And it's attacking Lana. Yeah, it is attacking Lana, but I can't click on it. Hmm... We might be a bit stuck here. Yeah... The creature is actually invisible, and I cannot attack it whatsoever. Um... I mean, look, I could... It's just not there. Oh, there we go. I have no idea. I mean, I just disappeared. That was really weird. Defeat the corrupted Vault Guardian. Who is there? Hope you don't disappear on me. Oh, get out of that circle, whatever you're going to do with that. Corrupted Vault Guardian. What is this red sludge? Uh, at least raise damage don't increase by 33. Oh. Well, you're not doing too much damage to me. Yeah, this will help. Oh, thanks, Lana. Appreciate it. Hurry up and die already. Thank you. Well, he's dead. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Find what you were looking for, Empress. You tell me. seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? ships to leave orbit. Soon, there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. I thought that's all it was anyway. You need to hold jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside. Time to run! As fast as we can! Ah! Don't do that. Wait. Where does that lead? Oh, is that just to the... Oh, it's just to the droid. Did we go that way before? I have no idea. I feel like we did go that way, though. Huh, whatever. Just run, Charlie. Stop questioning things. Oh, look. An elevator that actually won't leave me for once. That obeys my commands. Screw you, elevator. Ha, ha, ha. I always have trouble with elevators. They always leave without me. I don't know why. Oh, I'll get there. Just give me some time. Just gonna sleep past these creatures. Lovely. You know, I know they're droids, but you'd think they'd have some sort of sense in their programming to run. Especially you, Zealot. This whole place is coming down. Run, perhaps? I am, but for some reason, this hollow journal is playing again. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're almost there. There's one more elevator to go. And home free? Why do I get the feeling the planet's about to implode? 
Get or collapse in. in on itself. I hope it does. That'll look cool. You do love to cut it close, don't you? See any fun way? Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, that would have been fun to see. Valen has broken her bonds. Now she will be stronger than ever. The Alliance won't rest until she's removed from the throne. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? <laughs> Lie, no. That's an odd question. You sound worried. Are you scared? You should be. Your mind games are nothing to me, Outlander. But do not lose focus on what matters. Valen must be stopped. That's only step one. Step two is getting you out of my head. Be careful what you wish for, lest you get it. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? I don't know, but maybe you should slow down your words. For some reason you sound like you're on fast forward. We can figure out a strategy once we're back on Odessan. Wouldn't mind a bit of R&R &R first. Or at least a nice long nap in my own bed. Sounds lovely. Think I'll do that after I... Setting a course for... Play huh. chapter nine. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Our destin is under attack. What? Okay. Well, that is. Oh God, poor Odessa. That is chapter seven done, and we will deal with chapter eight. In the next episode, uh, please let me press spacebar. Don't don't let it automatically start. Please, please. I'm waiting for it to load. Okay, so I get to press spacebar myself. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you in chapter eight. Just two more chapters to go. And a farewell.